hello welcome back to my channel if you don't know my name is lucy moon and today we are doing my winter capsule wardrobe update ah, ah, so exciting <laughs> what was that i don't know it's two degrees outside it's frozen so i thought what better day to go and assess how i'm going to stay warm in these freezing january conditions i just went and went through my whole wardrobe pulled everything out sorted it out put it back in and now we have one winter capsule wardrobe there really weren't many additions this time around i think because it's coming from autumn you just have to put away those kind of sandal like shoes or mules or loafers and then kind of put away the skirts and dresses and then you're kind of fine all of my jumpers and my jackets were already out so it's just like a case of organizing, I guess, and sorting through. I'm pretty happy with my winter wardrobe. There's one or two things that need amending. I'll tell you, about. are you enjoying hearing all of this banging? Because <laughs> I'm really enjoying this construction today. I think there's a couple of things that need amending, like updating or replacing, but beyond that, I'm really, really happy. So let's talk winter. As I said just now, I went through and removed basically all skirts and all dresses. Not that there were any dresses, I don't think, but skirts like even long skirts just not the weather for it at the moment and apparently we're gonna have a january that goes down to minus 10 so i'm just not gonna be walking around in a silk skirt the only thing i actually added from my collection under my bed is this gemmed jumper i always whip it out at christmas i just think it's so nice and it's the softest thing in the world i saw an influencer wearing it last year so like walked straight up to her and was like hi where'd you get your jumper lovely to meet you she was like oh it's from topshop so i got this lovely topshop jumper it's currently covered in dog hair because i looked after some dogs the other day but i love it i think it's the exact right kind of christmas jumper for me and now i'll keep it out for the winter just in case but i think it's just going to go back under my under my bed and i imagine it will come out of christmas for many years to come now let's talk about the new additions i should preface this by saying that for the winter capsule wardrobe i ordered a couple of bits from everlane because i said i would review them i'm not sure what's gonna fit they haven't arrived yet so i can't show you them now and i don't even know if they'll be a part of it or if i'll resell them or whatever or try and return them there are potentially three or four more items that will be added to the wardrobe I will let you know in my Everlane haul, which is coming later in the month. But for now, let me show you the only bits I've added this winter. The first is one thing you will have seen so many times on my Instagram, in my videos. I think I've worn it in like three videos so far already. And it is this wonderful jumper from And Other Stories. It's this kind of warm nude peach. Wait, I said I wasn't gonna use the word nude anymore because nude is many shades. So let's go peachy beige because that is an accurate representation of what this color actually is. It's got a neckline that comes just above a normal sitting neckline, so it covers t-shirt necks, which is great for me because I wear so many t-shirts, but also if you wear a polo neck, just a little bit will stick out the top, which I really love. I think it's such a cute feature. It's very heavy duty, it's a thick knit, and then I roll the sleeves up. Ooh, personally, that's how I do mine. And it's cropped as well. I've worn this so much, I really love it. Mm, so nice. The next item. Do you remember in my previous capsule wardrobe video I said I was looking to add more shoes, bags and jackets to my collection because I've pretty much got the main, the bulk kind of sorted. With that in mind I bought this. I bought this lovely jacket from weekday. Mm, it's so lovely. It's got this kind of teddy-ish, sheepish lining. It's also a size small which I'm so glad I ordered because a lot of the time weekday stuff is incredibly oversized. And this was no exception. On the outside is this wonderful cream corduroy. I love it. It's got loads of pockets, loads of buttons. I'm so into this. I haven't stopped wearing it since I got it. Corduroy is 100% cotton and the lining is 100% polyester. So not amazing for recycling and stuff, but okay. I'm gonna wear it for ages. Next, we have two scarves. One of them was gifted to me for Christmas from my boyfriend's mum, which is so nice of her. Thank you so much, Sue. I doubt she watches this, but just in case. And it is this cashmere gray scarf. I don't know where it's from. It's a wonderful charcoal color and I really like it. It's just really nice and it's gonna keep me so warm. This is the try on part of this haul, by the way. Mm. <laughs> I literally, I don't know where it's from. I know nothing about it, but I really love it. And to be honest, once you've got like one or two really good scarves, you never need to buy any more. So yeah, that's one of my favorite Christmas presents this year. And then we have a treat that I bought myself a month ago or so, which arrived the other day. And oh, I can't believe, oh, I just waited so long. <laughs> I waited so long for you. It is an Acne Studios oatmeal color scarf. These are just so, I can't really explain it. Like iconic, I guess, even though they're very simple, they're very understated. But that's the kind of designer stuff I would ever want to buy. Like, I don't really want, like, huge, big, hello. I just want something, something nice and something 
chill. And also something I can use like every day. I think as soon as you start buying more expensive stuff, cost per wear is really, really important. This scarf is 100% wool and I love it. It's this beautiful, beautiful oatmeal colour, which is... I've got hair in my mouth, <laughs> which is one of the colours I really desperately wanted in my wardrobe for this season. And look, it's so big, it's like a blanket. Look at that. Oh. I should probably get some gloves at some point as well. I've realised I've got two scarves now. Don't need to worry about that forever more, but gloves? Gloves are hard. There are some really nice ones in Paloma wool at the moment, but I just don't think I can justify getting like creamy white colour gloves. So much money to spend on a great pair of gloves that I would just, i just get dirty. Anyway, this was a treat to myself. This was my Christmas present for me from me to me, <laughs> and I just adore it. The final item is the only thing that has arrived from Everlane so far because, I think because it was made in Italy and so shipping wasn't as long as the ones made in China and in America, but it's these boots. Do you remember how much I've talked over the past two years about getting some nice small heels, pointed black ankle boots? I've been looking and looking and looking. I couldn't find anything I wanted. And then for the Everlane try-on haul, I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna buy the bullet and get these. They look perfect and they're sustainable. And that to me is really important. I recently watched The True Cost and I think it's such an important film which you should definitely see. I think it's really educational and it exposes you to a lot of the side that you'd never have seen in the fashion industry. And it's very, very important. If you get the opportunity to watch it, please take it. I think it's on Netflix as well. So after watching The True Cost, one of the things I feel really, really passionate about is to not buy dyed leather from any companies where I don't know where that's coming from or they're not being reviewed currently by Greenpeace because Greenpeace has this really great um, Action 2020 plan with loads of brands and you can see how they're doing and you can monitor their progress on how they're getting rid of the toxic dyes that are giving loads of people in these small communities terrible, terrible illnesses. They're creating terrible birth defects, loads and loads of people are getting cancer. It's really, really sad. So. For me, that was the big, big thing I took away was I just can't buy these terribly, terrible chemical dyed leathers anymore. Like I just can't. With that in mind, these do not use these toxic chemicals to dye the leather, which is great. They are made in Italy and they are wonderful. They are so different to any other boots I've owned. They're, they're just better made, like that's it. And thankfully I've bought them with a clear conscience knowing that no one is suffering in order to get these boots made. <laughs> God, I'm bad with words. And when you order online, I think the fear is always that you'll get the wrong size and I did not want to be doing returns or exchanges to America again. So I read the reviews and they said to size up a whole size because they're quite tight on the ball of the foot. So I did that and they fit like a glove. They're some of the comfiest shoes I've ever worn. They broke in within a day. Oh, I just, I, as you can tell as well, they're black matte leather. They've got this kind of, kind of slightly crinkled finish, but I love that. Anyway, expensive, but I think a really good investment. I'll tell you more about them in the Everlane video where I actually talk about what it's been like to wear them for like a month or so. So those are all the purchases I've made for my winter capsule wardrobe and that's basically all I have to share with you. The only other thing I'd say I have to add is that for the next capsule wardrobe, I'm really looking to get better quality jeans. At the moment, my jeans have shrunk. They're not great. <laughs> I'm hoping the Everlane ones fit. And if they don't, I might get them tailored. I'll see how well or how badly they fit. But I don't think I should invest in any more Topshop denim just because it breaks after a year. And also when I wash it, it shrinks and I have long legs, so anything that shrinks them even a little bit is so noticeable. And also I'm just sick of jeans not fitting me. I want to buy two pairs of black jeans, one straight, one skinny, and I want them to fit perfectly and then not have to worry about it for another couple of years. I think that's a reasonable request. Okay, so that is my winter capsule wardrobe. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you're enjoying Moon Yuri. Let me know your thoughts on what you would add to my capsule wardrobe in the comments and what you're excited for for winter and maybe spring. Like, spring is kind of winter here. It nearly always snows. So I don't know if I'll do like a big spring update because there's not really much to add. Anyway, love you lots. See you soon. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. <laughs> oh my God.